Having a healthy relationship with food is an important part of weight management and can be a positive influence towards achieving weight loss goals. Many factors contribute to our relationship with food. In this video, we'll discuss several common unhelpful eating behaviors. We'll see how lack of sleep impacts our health and can influence our weight. And we'll explore the connections between stress, our thoughts and feelings, and our behaviors. Our eating behaviors can have a tremendous impact over our health and weight, both good and bad. Unhelpful eating behaviors often interfere with the achievement of weight loss goals and can contribute to general health decline. Let's discuss a few of the common but unhelpful or problematic eating behaviors so we can identify them, how they may apply to us, and how to begin to overcome them. Binge eating is simply eating a large amount of food at one time while feeling a loss of control or inability to stop. Some people binge eat when they're under stress or when they feel strong emotions and feel they need a short break. But after the binge comes a feeling of guilt or shame, leaving us feeling worse. There are a few techniques we can use to break the binge with a goal to manage emotions and experiences in positive ways. We could take a deep breath, remove temptation foods from our home, stop and question, am I truly hungry or is this emotional hunger? Engage in a hobby or activity that we enjoy instead of eating. To understand more about binge eating, it can be helpful to obtain professional counseling and support to learn more about the root cause of this behavior. Emotional eating is eating in response to an emotional experience like stress, boredom, or even happiness. To overcome emotional eating, the first step is to identify which emotions trigger a desire to eat. Then, find emotionally fulfilling non-food alternatives to take the place of eating. Effective non-food rewards could be hobbies, activities like gardening, woodworking or knitting, reading or writing, or personal rewards like a massage or pedicure. We think of night eating as those times when we get up out of bed to eat, sometimes out of habit or hunger or in response to nagging emotions. As with all unhelpful eating behaviors, it is important to identify the root cause and action strategies to counter the cause. For example, a routine habit might be to have a quick snack when you let the dog out in the middle of the night. You pass through the kitchen and need something to do while waiting for your pup to return inside. To counter this behavior or break the habit, we could try a different path to the door or try storing snacks in a less convenient location. Sometimes our daytime behavior patterns influence how well or soundly we sleep. Eliminating coffee or alcohol and adding a bit of exercise to our daytime routines can result in longer, deeper sleep. As we've discussed, emotions like stress, anxiousness, sadness, or loneliness can have a negative impact on our daytime eating behaviors. Think of your emotions as a full body experience. The better we take care of our bodies during the day, with good nutrition and modest exercise, the less vulnerable we will be to nighttime eating. Sometimes we associate food with certain routines, traditions, or holidays particularly when spending time with friends and family or other social or team building events. We often socialize, celebrate, and even grieve around food. In these situations, it's good to rethink our eating patterns and focus our attention on people rather than food. We could bring and share a meal or snacks that are a healthy option, even discuss the menu with your host ahead of time. Maybe one dessert is better than two. It's common to eat while distracted or multitasking. This is known as mindless eating. We might be driving or reading, browsing the web, or simply watching TV on a comfy couch. But when we're distracted, we may not be considering the types or quantities of the food we're eating. The solution is mindful eating. Enjoy the foods you're eating and notice the feeling of fullness. Be intentional when eating and eliminate distractions. Turn off the kitchen television and enjoy your foods. 
Chew slowly. Deliberately savor each bite, discovering the taste and texture of foods. Have you had an intense desire for a specific food? It can be overwhelming and difficult to ignore food cravings. The secret when we encounter a craving is to delay an eating response, giving a few minutes, even 20, for the craving to pass. A great technique is to quickly change your environment or your activities, or your focus in the interim. Maybe even call a friend. Just spend those few moments concentrating on something else and cravings will likely pass. With all or nothing thinking, it's like we're giving up on our healthy eating goals simply because we missed a step or two along our journey. But we can't let one donut derail an otherwise good day of healthy food choices. We can cope by reflecting on our choice for just a moment, then resolving to get back on track with the next snack or meal. Unhealthy choices often occur when we don't plan our food choices ahead or something unexpected occurs. Just be sure to recognize these behaviors and consider how to avoid them again in the future. We've had a closer look at a few of the more common, unhealthy eating behaviors people experience and some insight into how to adjust these behaviors for the better. Remember, in order to change a behavior, we must first understand its cause, then apply some simple techniques to affect the change. After time, new, healthier behaviors will become the norm. Next, we'll discuss the impact that sleep can have on a person's health and weight. Sleep is a key part of a healthy lifestyle and lack of sleep often affects weight gain and increases stress levels. Over the next few minutes, we'll discuss the importance of sleep in our lives and consider some simple sleep habits that can help improve our health and well-being. Why is sleep important to health? Simply put, our bodies and brains need sleep. Proper amounts of nightly sleep can benefit our health, weight, mind, and mood. Studies have shown that lack of sleep is linked to obesity and physical and mental health issues. Adults should strive to achieve seven to nine hours of sleep per night. Lack of sleep can affect weight gain. When we don't sleep enough, less than six hours per night, then our hormone levels, particularly cortisol, rise. Cortisol is the stress hormone most commonly associated with weight gain. It activates the reward centers in the brain that makes us want food. At the same time, lack of sleep causes our bodies to produce more ghrelin and less leptin. Ghrelin is commonly known as the hunger hormone that makes us want to eat. Leptin is the hormone that makes us feel full. So by feeling more hunger and less full, inadequate sleep leaves us both tired and hungry. And as a result, we often make unhealthy food choices. Everyone experiences stress in one form or another. But when stress keeps us awake at night and we're not getting our healthy amount of sleep, then we're leaving the door open to those pesky stress and hunger hormones. But we can reduce our stress to make room for a healthy sleep. Here's a few techniques to try when stress seems to be keeping us up at night. Try decreasing a busy schedule to free up an extra hour or two for sleep. Regular daily activity can help with stress management as a way to blow off steam. Though be sure to avoid exercise immediately before sleep. That's relaxation time. A helpful bonus of daily exercise is that it can help us feel tired at the end of the day. Prior to sleep, meditation can be relaxing, reduce the stress response, and make it easier to fall asleep. Even simple breathing exercises can reduce stress and body tension. Here are a few more tips toward a healthy sleep each night. Try not to drink caffeine late afternoon or later, and don't eat spicy foods late in the evening. Try to avoid drinking alcohol as it interferes with sleep. Avoid taking naps in the daytime. Deeper, lengthier sleep is best. Make your bedroom a pleasant place for rest, not electronics like a smartphone, laptop, tablet, or TV. Read a good book instead. 
and try to establish a regular bedtime routine to teach your body when it's time to go to sleep. Head to bed the same time each night and begin your routine with meditation or relaxation breathing. If you're interested in learning more about sleep and healthy living, consider visiting the Canadian Sleep Society website for patient-focused, helpful sleep resources prepared by Canadian experts. And there are a few smartphone apps to assist us when getting to sleep. Look for apps that encourage users toward a restful night, focus on relaxation or meditation before bed. Also consider tracking or journaling apps helpful when we want to record, then reflect on our sleep behaviors. As we've seen, a good night's sleep can have a remarkable impact on our well-being and our approach to food and eating behavior the next day. Let's strive for that ideal, seven to nine hours of sleep or more each night, and see how we can apply a few simple techniques to improve the overall length and quality of our sleep and benefit our approach to eating. Let's imagine a typical scenario and see how what we've learned about our eating behaviors might impact a stressful day. We'll explore the situation in terms of our thoughts, feelings, behaviors, and eventual outcomes. Let's start with the assumption that we've had a very stressful day at work. In our first scenario, we'll explore what might be an emotional reaction. After a stressful day at work, we might be thinking, I've just had the worst day ever. I can't handle this. I could use a beer and some pizza. I'm gonna treat myself, I deserve it. That day has left us feeling stressed, anxious, and tired. But our behavior might lead us to eating a few too many slices of pizza and maybe one beer too many. At the end of the evening, we'd probably still feel stressed and will likely have a terrible night of sleep. In this example, emotional eating was likely a response to an emotional experience and not considering our longer-term, health-minded goals. In our second scenario, let's take that stress and do something different. After that same stressful day at work, we might think, well, that was a stressful day, I need to unwind. I've been through this before, I can push through. I can manage my stress in helpful ways. The day has left us feeling stressed and tired, but hopeful. Our behaviors could lead us to a soothing bath, a walk and talk with a friend, or a favorite hobby or pastime. At the end of the evening, we'd be feeling better, confident that we've made better choices because we have the tools we need to succeed. In this example, all the difference is in thoughtful reflection and making decisions that don't result in unhealthy eating. We've seen how our thoughts, feelings, and behaviors can lead to unhealthy eating patterns. The good news is, by making small changes, we can overcome eating difficulties and make positive strides toward our weight loss goals. Now it's your turn. Think of a situation you've experienced recently, how you approached it, and how you might approach it differently. Journal your experience in the context of the situation, your thoughts, the feelings you experienced, the behaviors you applied, and the eventual outcome. By journaling and reflecting on our notes, we can discover different methods to overcome unhelpful eating behaviors and practicing mindful eating. It is important to focus on caring for our bodies through helpful eating, physical activity, relaxation and rest, and building self-confidence as we work toward our goals. In this Thinking Well module, we've seen how a healthy relationship with food is a critically important part of weight management and a positive influence toward achieving weight loss goals. We've explored several common unhelpful eating behaviors and learned a few simple tips and techniques to overcome them. We've seen how lack of sleep can both impact our health and influence our weight. We should target seven to nine hours of sleep each night, and we've learned a few methods to achieve that goal. And we've considered the connections between stress, our thoughts, our feelings, and our behaviors, and how with some thoughtful reflection, 
we can change behaviors to support a more healthy, happier outlook. In upcoming modules, we'll consider living well and eating well, all within the context of healthy living, weight management, and achieving weight loss goals.